guy named Neil Kashkari is seeking the GOP nomination to challenge California Governor Jerry Brown. And he's doing these commercials where he talks about slashing the budget and cutting wasteful spending, your typical Republican talking points. And when I first read the article about this, I thought to myself, wait, the name Neil Kashkari, I've definitely heard that before. I don't remember where from, but I remember reading it a lot not that long ago. Well, Huffington Post put together a mashup of this guy's new campaign ad and what we already knew him for that I was struggling to remember. Republican Neil Kashkari. Career politicians are clueless about earning a dollar. All they know is how to spend yours. I'm Neil Kashkari. I'm not a politician. Worked for President George W. Bush and for President Obama. I was a technology investment banker at Goldman. The architect of the big bank bailout. As governor, I'll cut taxes and take an ax to wasteful spending. And I'm asking about AIG. I don't have the details of what the bonus levels are at AIG. Is a $3 million bonus too much. I don't have a number in my head that says this is an appropriate bonus level. You're the one that's supposed to impose appropriate levels of executive compensation. I'm not in a position to opine on a specific number if it's appropriate or not. Do your standards prevent the payment of a three million dollar bonus? I do not believe that they specifically prevent it. If you got a bonus of three million dollars, are you going to ask for it back? How about a thirty million dollar bonus? We can't relate to you in your world. I don't know. I don't know where you come from. I'm Neil Kashkari, and I'm not afraid to make a few cuts. This guy was the architect of the big bank bailout after the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession. This guy believes in the biggest government imaginable, and he's out there brazenly arguing in his new campaign commercials that he's for small government. That he's going to cut wasteful spending? That he's going to slash the budget? Motherfucker, how about you start by marching back to Wall Street and telling all those people that got unmerited bonuses to give that money back? No, no, you have to realize, this is the most egregious guy in the world. This is the last person, the last person who could ever argue for smaller government and to cut wasteful spending. He is the king of wasteful spending. You heard him arguing there that, oh, well, look, I don't really know if $3 million is too big of a bonus to somebody who bankrupted their own company. Hmm, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. Look, he worked for George W. Bush. He worked for President Obama. He was the architect of the bank bailout. He worked for Goldman Sachs. Okay, the guy is a criminal. He should be in jail. Not coming out with cute campaign ads in a California race for governor. Understand what Goldman Sachs did. We've talked about this time and time again, but I always like bringing it up because people don't know the details and it's really mind-blowing. But what they used to do, uh, you know, back when it was totally, totally unregulated, it's still bad and unregulated, but when it was even worse leading up to the uh, subprime mortgage crisis, they would package together all the different, um, you know, bad subprime mortgages and then they would sell those packages to their clients and they would make the pitch that you, you really want to get in on this because you're going to make a lot of money. So however much money you give us, trust me, you're going to make a lot. It's a good investment. Let's do this thing. So, of course, a lot of people listen to them. They're supposed to be the experts, right? And then they would turn around and place bets against those packages that they just sold as being good. They would place bets for those packages to fail. And they knew they would fail because they knew they were dog shit. So what happened? You made money two ways. You made money off the suckers, who you played for suckers when you told them it was good, and you made money off the bet where you said you thought it was going to fail, because they did fail. Okay, we have a term for that. It's called fraud, and if you do it, you should be in jail, not running for governor as a massive hypocrite. Unbelievable that this guy's actually arguing for responsible spending and cutting wasteful spending. Did you know that uh, there was a proposal after we realized that, oh my God, we just gave a bailout to the big banks with no strings attached? No strings attached. And they turned around and gave bonuses to people who bankrupted their companies. They remodeled their offices, which cost millions of dollars. Citigroup bought new private jets with taxpayer dollars. Do you realize that when that happened, the Democrats realized, oh fuck, we really fucked this up. So what did they do? They proposed legislation 
to do a 90% retroactive tax on all of the uh, unwarranted taxpayer-funded uh, CEO bonuses, okay? Granted, it's still not perfect, because it should be 100% tax, because they shouldn't have fucking... You don't get a bonus if you fail! That's capitalism 101! But now all of a sudden, what? All the people on Wall Street believe in socialism? Yeah, socialism as long as you're a white guy with a suit and a tie, right? But, uh, it got defeated. Why? Because they're Republicans. And why? Because of Neil Kashkari. So they're gonna say, oh, no, 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 free market. We believe in the free market. Yeah, but wait a second. You didn't believe in the free market when you were begging for a bailout. Now all of a sudden you're saying government hands off, no more taxes, no taxes. Don't tax these bonuses even though they don't deserve them. What the fuck, man? Unbelievable criminal, unbelievable crook. The guy is the last person who can argue for efficient government and cutting wasteful spending. He is the king of wasteful spending. Just gave out our taxpayer dollars to these CEOs who didn't fucking deserve it. Neil Kashkari, get the fuck out of here with your bullshit. I hope everybody calls you out on this nonsense.